to another ride along with goggles and uh, it's Tuesday <laughs> and today we've got uh, the Roland 389 and his uh, the Roland um, trailer Mac step or er, Mac um, tarp side curtain side I guess uh, and um, we're in Steamboat Springs and we're gonna go through the park on our way over to Rangeley so and they're routing us through there so well we're gonna do it and it's such a good trip this drive through here it's awesome all the way to steamboat well the whole thing is nice but uh 336 miles and we best get a move on because it's urgent we have packaged food going to the tidbit store there and uh so let's do it oh, i should have uh yeah, let's do that again at all the animations like if you look at the um look at the rotary controls between the steering wheel and the gear shift like they all turn too like the temperature for the interior temp is going to move to heat i think or is it to frost i forget and the fan speed will go up the shifter will move now it goes to uh by level <laughs> That's bad position too, just a bit of heat, a bit of a blend going on there. So, it's kind of a little thing. There are lots of animations on this thing. I think the diff lock is animated. And, uh, lots of cool things. Anyway, let's uh, get rolling here, because like I say, it's urgent. Um, now, this is a truck that used to give me fits in my old PC. And I've got the same settings I've been using since, pretty much since I put the new motherboard and CPU in with the uh, only thing that's turned down is mere distance from ultra to high. Or uh, is that distance? Yeah. And everything else is full on. Turn the lights on and we'll get a... It's not perfect. It's not as good as some of the other trucks. Uh, so, it will hit 60. It is there right now. I don't know if that's temporary or not. Yeah. We'll see what happens as the light comes up. If I turn the headlights off, I don't even think that changes it. the headlights off. Now it doesn't make any difference. I tried different headlights. I tried going in and messing with my uh, my GPU. Uh, I undervolted it. I overclocked it. And none of it made any difference. So the problem is not all it did is made it run hotter. You can see the temperature if you can up the very top left. It's at 56 Celsius. I had it running at 70 and stuff with some of the changes I was making and it didn't change the performance so it's not the graphics card it's the I believe I'm gonna you know what I could do is figure out how to overclock the CPU because it's definitely overclockable um, it's running it's not running by a little over half what it's capable of It's interesting on my other monitor over here I've got the um, AMD adrenaline uh, you know your control panel running and that's what I was using to undervolt and or overclock and just change the fan and power settings all kinds of stuff I tried quite a bit of things and at the end of the day, I just decided it was all not worth it. But I'm looking at the uh, settings here, or what it's saying there, comparing it to what I have on the uh, Riva tuner, and uh, they seem to compare pretty favorably, so obviously getting their info from the same place. But yeah, I think what we need to do is... Uh, I've got lots of CPU cooling, like it's running at 40... You know, between what 45 is a high oh there's 
Hit 54 there briefly. 38C. 45C. Yes, it's running like an average of 42, 43 degrees Celsius. So I don't think it'd be a stretch to overclock that a bit. Let's check the map and see which route they're giving us here. We are just going to go on down out of town. We could stay in the lane we're in for a long way. Avoid getting caught in the right... Um, or actually, sorry, I want to get in the middle lane maybe. Avoid anybody slowing down to turn right. So that, um, you know, when I, when I did the uh, choke point tests before I decided on the CPU, uh, it's, uh, I've got a 6% choke point with the uh, current CPU, whereas I had like 25% with the old one. So that's giving me all of this performance increase. And this being, uh, so I'm running the CPU currently at stock configuration. So it leads me to believe that it's, to get 6%, that's probably doable with overclocking the CPU. And the only question is, is it worth it? So I'm going to do it. I'm going to find out. I'll check the settings and everything. And if it's, you know, it gives me, uh, one or two frames, I'll just put it back to default. If it goes from 55 with this truck to 60, but I mean, it's not terrible. I'm not suffering here with this like it is. You know, outside, it's crazy. The only thing I'm worried about is my audio. Notice when I first roll off with the throttle there, there's a staticky sound, or at least I hear it in my headset. I don't know if you guys hear it. Maybe comment if you do. Can't see if cars down there. see what happens when we get out of town. Maybe I'll just go away and I uh, can just stop worrying about it. Just that, you know, curiosity. Thing. Oh, uh, there's that static. I don't know if you hear that. That very deep rumbly happens when I let out the clutch and the engine's under low RPM load. But yeah, there's such a nice drive through the, uh, the park and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how things are. So if you didn't watch uh, yesterday's video to the end, I was late making an announcement in there that I'll make now, and that is I'm not going to do any more Call Them All Sundays. I think that thing has run its course. I've done a lot of them and enjoyed it a lot. But what I'm going to do is just do B-double Mondays because part of doing the the uh, Call Them All Sunday was just getting to drive a B-double. 
do some hard parking with it. And uh, so what I'm going to do is with B double Sundays, I can drive any B double, like uh, whatever I can find, pneumatic tank maybe, fuel tankers if I find them. Well, I know I have some mod ones. Uh, B double logging trailer. Okay, here yeah, this we gotta get out for this. This is so scenic through here. This whole trip up through the park here is just awesome. Now we're just gonna get 60 frames through here without problem, so I'll just turn that off. It's just around buildings and stuff. Plus outside. Our cargo is fairly heavy and I've got a uh, mildly hopped up uh, DD-60 in here. It's not full on crazy, but... Trouble here. Yeah. Well, you rooted us through here, so <laughs> call the office. We got a permit. check when I, I changed the headlights thinking well let's see what that does but I forgot I got the angry duck on there with uh, the glowing the glowing eyes and I wonder if those little eyeballs are causing a hit as well I'll turn the FPS on again yeah so we're in the cab now we're at 60 steady what's we're out of town There's some drops. So looks pretty good. Time to get out again. Taking the view. side here, look at that over there, over here, that's pretty darn cool. I'm gonna have to do the uh, old photo shoot here. You got a view still? Probably. We'll grab one around this corner here and I'll get ready to get the photo going. Oh, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be the one I wanted. Sir, did 
so if we just go a little bit above the speed limit here, we should be fine. We don't need to go too crazy. And like I say, it routed us this way, so it knows the speed limit on the route we're taking. And uh, we should be, shouldn't have to light our air and fire to get her done. Just take her somewhere to mellow here. Ish. <laughs> Or go to sleep or anything. Well, Colorado is such a good DLC. We've been doing a lot of stuff in Sierra Nevada, and uh, the live streams have been in Mexico a bunch. I thought uh, I'd get, get over here just for offset some of that, but you know, you know i got to go back to it soon because, boy, the beta's got to be right around the corner for 150. You know, and uh, we're going to lose all that other stuff, or map mods and things that we go into the beta, so... It's kind of why I'm pushing that a bunch right now, because... And Pro Mods Canada, of course, because we'll miss it when it's not available for a while. in the mail. skin done for the overflow uh, over K100E and uh, the RD moving van. So what I did is I just included the updated skin in the uh, in the mod in the skin in the truck skin. Oh, sorry, there's also so when you go into the trailer the Kentucky moving van if you got it the RD moving van It's a Kentucky moving van, but modded by RD. And so anyway, when you go into that trailer, there should be a, an extra skin option right at the top for the, uh, like above all their default options. And uh, it has the same file name. Oh, I could have changed the file name. Oh, I didn't think of that. It, it overwrites the uh, one that's already there. I got it right here, yeah. It overwrites the file that's there for the existing one, but, you know, the one I made is an exact clone of that one, but it's just crisp. Like, it's just redone everything so that it looks better. The other one's really old and done in a low resolution. So I did it, in a, you know, in a high resolution. Uh, just like I say, replaced all the script, all the text, all the images, the lines. Everything's got a nice crisp edge on it, so I don't think you'll miss the old one. 
The only thing that I couldn't replicate exactly was the script for the URL on the side of the trailer. I couldn't find their font. And I didn't want to do it by hand because, man, I spent a lot of time on that thing when I thought all I was going to do was a skin for the truck. And then I ended up looking at the trailer and going, oh, my God, I can't have that towed behind our nice new truck skin. <laughs> so that's what happened. I uh, got a little carried away. And the wide turn sign on the back of the trailer is different than the one that came with it. I used a more modern one. Side or to another. So, um, I look at the other skins. There's a whole bunch of skins in there. Uh, you guys tell me what you think of this. Is this crazy or should I do a revamp of all of those skins and just put them in with, uh, like for the drum add-on and the thing with the drum I can as with the Kentucky moving or Mayflower I've got the uh, um, it works on all the regular cabs so I guess the downside to that is well I guess I'm going to have to an SCS trailer skin, Mayflower trailer skin. I, that'd probably be actually a good thing to do. And then it would be kind of neat using the uh, default trailers too. Although they aren't moving trailers, but that's what I did with the Atlas, I think. Oh darn. I shouldn't have said, I should have said anything before I checked. I did, maybe I did make an Atlas van line skin. No, I don't think I did. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I suppose the other thing a guy could do finish up the Allied van line skin. And then do a three, the three pack uh, SCS trailer skins to the moving companies. Oh boy, dilemmas. Steamboat Springs coming up. We'll get through there and then it's kind of a nice drive on into uh, Rangeley. So we're going to go from Colorado into Utah at some point. I believe. Or is Rangeley in Colorado? Oh, that's a question. Hmm. Get to a traffic light here. There's going to be several through town. I'll look. Albert, I haven't <laughs> put the, uh, the mod in here for what we call them real real place names and stuff, real companies. Oh, here's another curtain cider beside us. Shot real hot shot. The crazy flame 389. I don't know if I did that skin for this truck. But I think what I would want to do is redo it. Oh, I got the cash money mud flaps on the back of this thing still. There's that, that rumble down low. I'll have to listen for it at the next light. You guys tell me if you hear it. Then I'll know if it's just in my uh, headset. Or you're hearing it too. And I gotta figure out the problem in audio settings. 
It only happened since I changed the uh, motherboard. But as I, I think I might have mentioned before, I checked the drivers and they're all up to date. Jeez, frame counters is probably pretty chunky through here, yeah. Steamboat springs. Now we got one more chance for a light. Let's look at the map. Who's that last one looking at the Chaparral hotshot truck? Last chance saloon coming up. What's it say? Green. Yeah. Alright. Well, we see a sign. Welcome to Utah. Rangeley's in Utah. I think it's Colorado. I think it's um, Vernal is in Utah. And the border's between the two, come to think of it. So. and still be in the ditch up here. Right there. For all dude. Big wipe up. I put that uh, Z mod audio I by this one once, way back, probably first or second time I ever came through here. But that is way different from this experience, like, the barricades haven't come down, they've been going for 5 seconds, 10 seconds. There they go. In, in the old days, it went ding ding and they came down, bang, it hit like it was a brick wall. I had a triple uh, reefer rod full of dynamite. <laughs> yeah, it was all zigzagged all over the road. It was a mess. I think I have, uh, oh darn, we don't, we don't have the long freight train. Oh, map. Yeah, here's a border here. Rangely and Bernal on each side of the border. The trailer seat was kind of fun to do. The, uh, Straight down the side in a big arc. Look at all the parts to the straight. At least 12 elements to the stripe. You get them all on the same curve. I have a little bit of fooling around. And so, yeah, I could have used the trailer every now and then because, man, I didn't put all that effort into it. Not easy. Seems like a simple thing. Yeah, just throw it straight down the side. We've done it half an hour. They're not. There's that static. You hear that? Or er, whatever's happening down there. Oh boy. Oh, excuse me. Dropped to 49 frames right there as we're passing those other trucks.
Oh, I'm going to quit worrying about it. Just turn the dang thing off. I know what's going on with it, so. Got the temps on that monitor. That's going to be temporary. I'm not going to run that all the time either because, you know, there's nothing I can do with the graphics card that is going to fix anything I don't think because the, the problem is still the, the CPU is 6% of the... that rumble again. Oh, that's green. I wonder if we'll make it that far. That left turn there is to the HMS or keyword if you're using the name places. Real company names. Um, just, it's a cool location. Nice to have something out here. It'd be cool if there's a little bit more between here and Vernal. At Vernal, there's a fair number of things going on. We got a little bit of range lead, but not a lot. Not much for machinery, like here. Other than that one back there, and in Vernal, I guess there's one, but kind of wish there was a remote site out here somewhere. All this beautiful scenery. FLX 359. Shoot, I didn't get a chance today. I was going to do that on Monday afternoon, and it's passed me by already. Because they've updated to include some hood shake and make the hood have a little bit of vibration to it, like the uh, W900 from SCS, which is fantastic in my view. Because any of these trucks with the big one piece flip hood, I've had a few of them. The hood moves a bit because it's hinged up at the front, and there's things happening, and they're they're not mounted super super rigidly. They're you know or made super rigidly because they would just crack. Because the fiberglass for the most part. The Peterbilt hoods like this are aluminum. Uh, the Kenworth W900s are fiberglass, I believe. My L8000s are fiberglass. Or some sort of composite plastic material of some sort. Fiberglass, I'm pretty sure. I think I had a little crack in my... Uh, did I? No. No, I don't think so. Must have been somebody else's I was thinking about. You can see the fibers on it. Yeah, my first one, my used one, it was in pretty good shape. And I did the paint job on it. I fixed anything that could have been wrong with the hood. That's a lot of work, painting a truck, holy. When I did mine, the guy who had himself leased on a chariot too had a white western star. Uh, like the old big, I can't remember the model number, which is unfortunate. It has a big conventional with the big straight grill on it. I thought my truck was big to sand and paint. But we did them both in one weekend. Like the, uh, it was a busy weekend, man. It was like from Friday afternoon, we both took off early on Friday afternoon. I got all the stuff off my cab, like, you know, clearance lights and mirrors and door handles and latches and grill and in a fairly short order and then I helped him take his stuff off his truck and I think we got him oh I think we even started the uh, prep on Friday night and worked late on Friday and then Saturday was all day uh, all morning Saturday like half the day Saturday really was um, prep for prime 
And then Saturday afternoon was prime and sand, prime and sand. And then uh, Sunday morning was that uh, light sand to give the primer. And then, uh, oh geez, I'm in the high range. And then it was uh, paint. Two tracks. Oh, to be young and foolish again. And painted them with that Imran stuff, a deadly stuff. Oh, wait. Had to have, um, uh, well, uh, not a hood on with, like, came right over your shoulders and everything sealed you up and had an air supply. Because at the time, that was the paint. Everybody's telling you, oh, you got to use Imran. Imran's the stuff. And you probably can't even buy it now. I haven't heard of it in a long time. Probably killed a bunch of people. Who knows? <laughs> but we, you know, we took all the precautions. And then, when I was painting, Barry wasn't anywhere to be seen, which was good. Kicked him out of the shop. Okay, what's this look like here? Oh, in the back. Okay. Should be fine. Okay, so that could be semi-challenging, maybe. Let's see. It's not a lot of room. Though I don't think I got the longer chassis for the truck, so that's good. So we have spread axle on a pretty long trailer. We gotta get it right down in there. Oh, go. A little do -si do here to the left. But now. Oh, I thought, I thought I was going to just wheel right by there. I didn't stall it. I turned it off. Bounced off far enough. We got clearance now. They put this truck right here in an annoying place. But uh, it's a bummer, but I can do the B doubles around the corner there. It just takes time. It's not one of those things I like doing in a video because I don't care how good you are, it's going to take you a while. And that doesn't make very compelling viewing if you got to sit there and watch this guy cranking the steering wheel for 15 minutes. Listen to this. Tell me if you guys hear this in your uh, home system. I'm going to put out the clutch. I'm going to hear this deep, sort of maybe a staticky sound. Yeah, what, do you guys hear that? Or is it just my headset's buggered up? I hope it isn't because it's a pricey one. If it's my headset, it's just going to have to wait. I'll live with it. If it's a setting, if something you guys can hear, I'll have to figure it out. Because that's not good. Oh, what's this dude doing? He's getting ready to go on over here and polish up some chrome. Get up to the dock. Oh, no, we go right through the parking zone thing. Oh, we're on time. Hey, excellent. It's a good thing. Well, there we go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride along. And, um, yeah, boy, I love this truck. I really do. It's just, uh, I guess, you know, I mean, I got everything running as max as I do it on any other truck. And it wasn't really terrible. It was, you know, a little bit here and there, which isn't bad considering, 
you know, everything I've tried to do in the PC has been a bit of a budget thing, and yeah, I think, uh, I think, oh, there's a dude hiding from the boss. He can see it, you know. He looked out the window as soon as I moved. You, you better get moving, because, oh, he's leaning back. <laughs> Surprised he hasn't pulled out a cigarette. Oh, <laughs> Why, 15 minutes will be break time. <laughs> Take it easy there, bud. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for following along as always, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, take care. And, you know, um, thanks to all the patrons and everybody who helps make this whole thing happen. So appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye for now.